Well, good morning fellow YouTubers and bloggers. As you can see, another fine today in Gibraltar. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about our winter. It's 12 weeks long, 14 on occasions. And you just can know, got no guarantee what the weather's going to be like. That's the only thing about winner. You might have three days of rain, one day of wind, four days of sunshine. And considering we're just in the early stages of February, I'm liking our winter so far. Right, we're just going to go on a small cruise today, don't really know where we're going. Got no specific topic in mind. So, uh, shut you off for now. I'm have a little wander. And when I finally decide where we're going, I'll bring you in. See you in a bit. Went to my local petrol station, which is the only one I always try to use in jib. And uh, they were closed. Which is most annoying because it meant I had to use the uh, the Morrison's petrol station. And I don't like using any other petrol station other than the uh, this Jib 8 one because all the uh, storage tanks are below sea level. And they seem to have a mega problem here. We're getting uh, water in the fuel, which is not good. Uh, a couple of mates of mine have had real problems with their bikes. The last of which was our Sweet Eliza. Uh, not that it really bothered her that much, she managed to sort out the problem, but ended up without a machine for two weeks. Which is not good. Following this little Spanish Harley fellow at the minute, he got well excited when he passed me. I don't know whether he thought the camera was on or he's just a very happy, sociable person. See if we can uh, get a repeat performance out of him. Oh, a little bit more uh, sedate that time, but uh, seems like a nice fella. Got the tunes on as well, by the sounds of things. And also, while I'm thinking about it, the. Uh, the garage where I had to get my substandard fuel from, <laughs> uh, their air pump wasn't working. So I'm now out riding my bike with dodgy fuel and probably not enough air in the tyres. Not that it's a major concern because I do check my tyres every time I take the bike out, which is always a good thing to be doing people especially when you live in a hot climb. I don't know why, I always seem to lose three or four pounds out of my front tyre, but my back stays pretty much where it should be. But, uh, they're just getting them nice and warmed up and then we can start being a little, not silly. Now, I'm not gonna have a silly day today, I'm having a, a cruising day today. Well, pretty much a cruise in Tay today. Oh my god, smell vision Just now passing the sewage plant for this town. Oh my goodness. My wife was on the back now, she be heaving. I might be worried for the back of my leathers. Oh, for Jesus Christ. Where do we go? Well, I think for a s Ooh, new petrol station. Now that's handy to know. Right, I think for a start, maybe we should head to uh, a little beach. It's supposed to be very nice, called Manilva Beach. See what happens when we get there. Ah, 
Let's see if we can. Oh no, forget about your tires, Badger. We got the builders in, boss. We got the builders in. Whoop -de 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No Mr. Police Officer's about. So this is the thing, they put speed limits out everywhere. Beware the workers, and you never fucking see any. Oh, those two, but they're on a coffee break. Come on, people, you're ruining my good bit of road. Oh, very nice. Remember the tyre pressures. yee -haw, fuck it. You may look, but you had to cut the corner, I didn't. This one. I guess you use your mirrors. Oh shit, that's me nicked. That is me nicked. That is me nicked. Fuck's sake, that is me nicked. Well, people, I just had to turn the camera off there for a little while. Gardens of Ville do not like being filmed. Whew. So I decided not to have any flashy lights on the camera. But I made a point of turning my head so that the guys could see the camera was there. And, lo and behold, I did not get fined. Now that surprises the shit out of me. They're not known for being uh, very tolerant of anything against the law. And I was sort of hanging off the bike a little bit when I went round that corner. By the way, point of reference, I'm doing 120 miles, 120 kilometres an hour. Quite a lot of wind noise in the helmet. But uh, hoping you can hear me okay. I didn't get fine. Woohoo! Badger's a happy badger! No fines! Ah, oh, I ruined all my fun all the time! Come on guys! Yeah. Come on Mr. Car, get out of the way! Be good, be good, be good! No, you're not so good! Not so good! Come on, back on the mission. I want to play, I want to play. Now we're doing 220. That'll be interesting if you can hear me at all. And the camera's still on my head, which is a surprise. Whoop. I don't actually know what that works out to, really, 220. It's only one, I don't know, 130, 140. If that, is it that? Help me out with that, comments down the bottom. It may be white, it may be an Audi, and you may think you're fast, but you're not. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on! done that on purpose. I hate it when people do that on purpose. See, 
somebody having a bit of fun, they want to mess you about. I don't know if I can still be heard. I'm going to be slowing down in a minute. I just forgot to switch the video camera off, so I'll just use this as a speed volume test. That'll be interesting. I actually love the roads in Spain. Britain's been taken over by speed cameras. There's not actually that many speed cameras here. But if you get caught with one, you are knackered because the fine's quite hefty, and at the minute, with the economy being the way it is, they make up a fine. A friend of mine got fined 400 euros for, I think he was doing 65 kilometers in a 30 kilometer zone. That's just horrendous. Right, Torre Guardiado, pronounced completely wrong, but there is supposed to be quite a nice beach down here. Uh, we might be able to pop in, have a wee tapas. Couple of vodkas. No, I'm only kidding about the vodka, by the way. Just in case some of you take that literally. Always check your tyres. Never drink and ride. Especially in Spain, there's zero tolerance in Spain. Let's have a week get butchers down here. No, zero tolerance, tolerance for alcohol. But check this. If they change their minds and decide to be nice about it, then there's an age discrimination. If you're under 21 and you're like 10 units over the limit, you're in the ship. Big fine, possible loss of license, possible bike, so on and so forth. If you're something like over 25, then you get a little, little fine and a turn off. And they're ridiculous. Personally, own personal opinion, so I offend some, but I think there should be a, a zero tolerance policy on alcohol across the board. If you are going to be driving a motor vehicle, then you don't drink, period. Ooh. Uh. All right, cheers. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe this is Manilva, I don't know. To be honest with you, one doesn't know where one is. Woohoo! Bonus! I love being lost. Oh, it's looking like the little signpost over there. It says Soto Grande. A very nice little harbour type area. if we can uh, get a little bit of fucking hell uh, rough roads oh Jesus and big bumps oh. some of these puppies look like they're worth a bob or two eh very nice Well, as I said, I've never been down here before. And I'll probably never be again. 
but stopping for a coffee seems like a damn fine idea. So this is what I shall do. See you in a bit. Gracias. Check me. Affluent at Spanish. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I was a bit unstable. I was watching him while I was drinking my coffee. And he dared to use the baby as a resting post. Such a nice day. <laughs> right. Off we go. We love this place. Yeah, what a rough bit of road. Ooh, 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 <laughs> okay, it might look effective, but what on earth would have possessed them to do this? Ooh, looks like we've got a big cruise around the back there. Right, but the poor types sitting on their boats, reading the paper. It's okay, don't panic, darling. I'll just pop a couple of them in the box and I'll take them home with me. Hitch them up to the back of the bike. Oh, I don't know what we're looking at price-wise there, but I'd like to have that in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> 